So I came up with this idea while working on something else. I have no clue if it's actually going to work, so this might be a failure. We'll see what happens. As always, this is a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun in the washing machine to a damp state. So this is going to be liquid dyed, kind of. So I'm not going to flip it inside out. I'm going to go with three parts. Um, I'm going to tie each of the arms and then the bottom of the shirt. And it's just going to be a scrunch because I think that would actually work best for this type of idea. So I think I'll go ahead and mark. I can arc on each of the arms just to get an idea of how far to actually pull the scrunch. Uh, the bottom I'm not really sure about. So I guess you can use whatever happens here as a basis for what you do. I think I'll go with that. Okay, so I'll scrunch the arms first. given much thought as to how maybe I shouldn't just do a scrunch maybe I should actually do an accordion across the arc and then scrunch inside actually let's go with that I think that was probably be the best and I know I have people periodically say can you please make it to where you show the full tying part instead of doing music over it so that you can have a better idea of what's going on as far as the thought process of doing this. So I'm doing that for this one. As you can see, I change my mind in the middle of doing these things sometimes, especially if it's something I haven't tried before. And pardon the noise if you can hear it in the video. Um, a section of the neighborhood, it has some work being done. All right. Ooh, that slipped. I'm not really sure I want this tight though. So I know what's going to happen. I think it'll be okay. Do one more, and then pull it, and then I'll just clip it. There's no reason to tie that off. And then I'll accordion the next side. And these are not pristine accordion folds. These are honestly pretty sloppy. I don't even think it's the same size as the other side. All right, let me redo that so it's at least the same size. Okay, I'll tie this off. And this is a poorly wound spool of sinew and I'm about to have a problem on the sides here because when I pull it it actually starts to rip it off the spool that normally doesn't happen but I'm not going to get much more use out of that spool before I have to give up okay so for this I'm going to do these larger 
not by much, but enough to where I don't have a super wide accordion to deal with. Okay. And pull that tight. Then we'll go back to doing the scrunch on here. I'm actually doing this more into a ball than a flat disc like you normally would because of how I plan on dyeing these. And with what I plan on doing, these need to be as tight as possible. So it's okay to put a lot of layers on. Okay, one. Form that back into a ball. Okay, that's two. And then, of course, since this one's going to be larger, I'm going to pull some of these accordions out. Scrunch that in and fold it over itself into a ball. Okay, so that's all of it. Actually, let's do this one just a tiny bit more. I don't know if I can flatten that in there. I'll give it a try. rest of this, I'm still kind of undecided what I want to do. I'm thinking I'm just going to pick it up, center-ish. That's going to be hard to determine now that it's 
already folded. I probably should have marked what my center point long before this. Let's go with that. See if that looks about right. Not really. I'm going to pull the front of the shirt back up and over. Pull each of these sides up. As high as those will go. So that each of these is roughly the same length. And that looks pretty good. So I will just take a rubber band and pretty lightly band all of this together. Oh, that's not. Let's go ahead and undo that. Pull that one up a little higher in each of those side panels. There we go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and band all of that back together again. And that looks pretty good. Off to die. I have no idea if this idea is going to work, but I have three bowls. And then this will go in like this. And the idea is that the dye that's in each of the dishes will actually absorb up and dye the whole t-shirt. Kind of like what you did in elementary school with the flower, changing the color of the flower from the stem or the celery or any of those types of things. So I've made up yellow, blue, and red which is actually bright yellow, turquoise, and Chinese red. The reason I did primary colors is so that everything should mix well, but we'll see. So let's start pouring this in. Uh, the dye is mixed at twice the concentration that it normally is. Since it has a long way to be absorbed, or whipped into the top of the fabric. So hopefully that will help. And I have an idea also in case it's not wicking far enough on what to do. I won't dilute the dye too much in that process. So all those are laid out, hopefully in an area where they're not going to spill and make a giant mess. Let's see, what color do I want on the bottom? Because the large one here is still the bottom. I think I'm going to go with red. So we'll set this in there. And I will let it sit for 18 to 24 hours. If I have to come back and do anything to it to try and get it to wick the rest of the way, then I will record that as well. Okay, it's been about 24 hours since I started this. Let's go ahead and do the washout.
Okay, let's take a look. So there we go. So I'll go wash this out.